So we were on this slide and we were talking about the social workers uh, intervention in, uh, you know, in um, in sometimes even in criminal cases where they help in rendering the right justice to the victims. Next is, again, of course, the conclusion part of it. Therefore, taking the lead in tailoring a program towards the obliteration of a social evil or a particular social problem in any individual case, setting it as a goal, devising a strategy, and then implementing a tailored strategy for achieving the goal, undoubtedly or indubitably or undoubtedly reflects the amalgamation or the integration or union of leadership and management. Thus, it is seen as a pragmatic social work management by a direct social work practitioner. So today we are basically, we have spoken about leadership in direct social work practice and how the social worker takes the lead while he interacts or she interacts directly with the subject or the victim or the client, however you want to call it, where the person has a direct interaction unlike the other categories of social work practice, such as the practitioners, social work practitioners at the macro level who are also called as indirect social work practitioners or those who are clinical social workers or you know, categorized as clinical social work practice, the one who practices, they call us practitioners. So social work practice can be broadly categorized into direct or micro level, indirect or macro level. And the third category is clinical. So that's all today's um, subject. I'm uh, sorry, today's topic has been um, quite, um, you know, a small topic and it is it is an easy topic and that's all for today where we, the fifth chapter basically deals with the leadership in direct social work practice and the broad classification of social work practice. Now, apart from that, uh, I'd like to remind you to get ready even for your final exams um, because now we have finished five chapters, okay? so. We are just remaining with three more chapters and three more classes. That means in three weeks, we complete the syllabus and then you'd be having your final exams. So prepare your you know, assignments and I'd encourage you to submit it on time. And those who have newly joined, I'm talking about if at all, that's what I understand, that there are some students who have been newly admitted for the course. So if you're not here, so just pass the word around that they can submit the assignment along with the second assignment. Okay, and the rules remain the same. Um, so that's about assignment. I've spoken about final exam. Important questions, I will prepare and give it to you shortly or probably I'll just discuss it. And um, yeah, so that's about it. And um, Yes, yet another thing, go by the notes that I have given you, okay? After every class, I upload the PPT, that is the PowerPoint presentation, along with the notes, okay? So go by those notes. Notes are given to you chapter-wise, okay? So you go by the notes and if you have any problem, you can even go through the recording that is the videos that are uploaded. And if you don't understand something, you can rehear it. And uh, in that way, you can prepare yourself for the exams. Again, a reminder for the assignment submitted on time. And of course, you know what are the rules about negative marking and all that. Okay, anyway, so who is Galaxy A02? Just remind me, Galaxy and iPhone. I just need your names to, you know, uh, mark your attendance. Others, it's fine. 
I've taken down your names. Galaxy and iPhone, what are your names? Just put it in the chat box, please. Are you there? If I don't receive your reply, I would regard you as absent, whoever you are. I don't know. Galaxy and iPhone. Galaxy's video is on, I guess. Galaxy A20, A02S. What's your name? Type it in the chat box so that I can mark your attendance. And who is iPhone? Okay, iPhone, thank you. It's uh, just take down your name. Ali, I baker, I baker, okay. That is iPhone. Okay, fine. So that's it. Meet you next class. Bye bye. The notes will be uploaded. Maybe by tomorrow morning it should be there. Bye-bye.